Hi, good day. Welcome back to our class in Chemistry 102B Laboratory. Last time, we discussed about the rules and regulations when working in the laboratory. I hope you have read them all, especially that this is a new subject or course for you. Today, I will be discussing the procedures which are applicable when you work in the laboratory, especially that we deal on analysis of substances. The procedure to be followed in a chemical analysis can be classified either as by classical or wet method or procedure and by instrumental procedure. In the classical or wet procedure, a chemical reaction is used to perform the analysis and there is no use of mechanical or electronic instruments except the analytical balance. There are sub-branches of the classical or wet procedures. One is by gravimetric analysis and two by the volumetric analysis. In the gravimetric analysis, this is a process of separating or isolating and weighing a substance to be analyzed. This is used to determine the mass or the concentration of the substance to be analyzed by measuring the change in mass. The substance that we are trying to quantify is what we call the analyte. The separation of the element or a compound may be done by precipitation method, by volatilization method, or by electroanalytical method. Of the three methods that is used by gravimetric, it is the precipitation method that is commonly used. The second type of the classical method is the volumetric method. In the volumetric method, this is otherwise known as the titrimetric method. Here is where titration is being applied. In the volumetric analysis, we are going to measure the volume of the reagent that is reacting stoichiometrically with the analyte. It is also known that the use of the volumetric analysis, its accuracy and precision are also comparable to that of the gravimetric analysis. The second procedure to be followed in chemical analysis is what we call the instrumental method. In the instrumental method, here is where we are going to use instruments or equipment to analyze a substance. The most common instrumental methods used are the chromatography, the electrophoresis, and the field flow fractionation. Now what is chromatography? The chromatography is a technique in separating a mixture of chemical substances into its individual components. What are some examples of this chromatography method? We have the column chromatography, we have the paper chromatography, we have also the gas chromatography, we have the thin layer chromatography, and the high performance liquid chromatography. There are many other types of chromatography, but the most common ones are those mentioned. Uh, I could remember when I was performing my experiment, when I took my master's in chemistry, that I used the paper chromatography as well as the column chromatography to separate or isolate the components of the extract that I was making for a herbicide. Another instrumental method is the electrophoresis method. In electrophoresis method, 
this is a laboratory technique used to separate or isolate the RNA, DNA, and protein molecule based on their size and electrical charge. An electric current is used to move the molecules to be separated through a gel. In the gel, there are pores wherein they act like a sieve and allow these molecules, especially the smaller molecules, to move faster than the larger particles or molecules. The last procedure that is applicable in the instrumental procedure is the field flow fractionation. The field flow fractionation family consists of a number of highly flexible chromatography-like illusion techniques can be adapted to nearly any kind of macromolecule and colloidal separation and characterization problems. However, this method is hindered due to lack of commercially available instruments to do the analysis. That's why for the instrument procedure, it is the chromatography that is mostly used or commonly used in the laboratory for analysis. For your assignment next meeting, I would like you to read ahead the procedure for the next activity that is on the analysis of group 5 cations. These cations involve the analysis of sodium, potassium, and the ammonium ions. So that would be all for today. This is your teacher, Professor Nisitas Ruiz of Holy Name University.